What's the word, gang? It's your boy, Jay Sizer. Yeah, Y'all see, man, I'm already on my third, feel me? I'm chilling right now. I'm cooking. I hope y'all having a good ass day. But look, man, as y'all can see, man, I'm about to teach y'all how to do these opacity fades that everybody is over here just abusing in their music videos. I love it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm about to teach y'all how to do this. Hope y'all enjoy. Feel me? Sit down and let's get right. So first things first, I'm going to recomp both of these clips, all right? And when I get into this pre comp, right, I'm gonna add Twister, Twister Pro, and I'm gonna change the speed to the same flipping speed of the footage. So it's 24 FPS. So in here, let's go back in here. And your effects controls, let's go back to the speed. Sorry. To your in and out FPS, change this to 24. And let's hit the stopwatch on the speed. Let's bring the middle keyframe to 55. Let's bring the last keyframe to about. Let's hit you and let's easy ease those and come into the grapher and let's just grab these boys back like ugh, 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 ugh. all right straight and, and now we're gonna make sure this is like slow enough so i got enough space to transition into the next clip like oh yeah i don't like how he look right there so let me just move this up you can come over here to your uh, hand behind and grab this up just a little bit while you twix this on the clip. And it'll remain the same speed. Now that we like got that, you feel me? It's really not that much explaining to do with the twixter. We can just copy this and we can put it onto the next clip. It costs like 10 Like 10, like, let's get this down here for some music. Sorry, let me take off the twigs off this bottom one. Turn off the eye. Like, All right, cool. So now that you have both of your clips slowed down, you could just grab your bottom one and uh, let's just extend it for this top one. And let's hit T on our keyboard. Hit the stopwatch on opacity. Come to the last uh, frame of this clip. And let's just keyframe. Let's bring this down to zero. So now we're gonna highlight those keyframes and hit F9. And come to the graph editor, highlight that, and let's just slow this down a little bit. Let's just drag this to the right a little bit, and let's play it while we do so. So now that you got that down, let's add a couple things to an adjustment layer. Throw you some flicker on it. You know what I'm saying? You add that flicker on it, it's really going to bring it to life. And also, I got a preset with a sapphire effect and my Drill Essentials pack. It's my flicker on the focus, it's something that I use a lot. It's just film damage with these settings. Feel me? It costs like 10 G, like 10 G. It costs like 10 G. And cost like 10 G, like 10 G, like it cost like 10 G, like. And then let's fix the speed of these keyframes as well. So let's go back into it the cost like 10 G, like. And let's just fix that up. Let's make any uh, small changes. I'm gonna speed this up after the snap. G, like it cost like 10 G, like you know you could just transition this out right let's play this with the rest of the footage that's here i ain't gonna lie homeboy on this 3d boy it's crazy i missed the two ski man matter of fact i missed the check that cheese on my cost like 10 G, like, I feel like bugs. Yeah. But anyway, moving forward, man. If you enjoyed this tutorial, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more, man. I'm gonna be back way sooner than you think. Yeah. Love y'all niggas. Peace.